What is going on guys, Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. This video, we're gonna talk about streaming or going to class. Which one's better and which one should you do? We're gonna get to that in this video. All right guys, so let's get to the tips, which is should you go to class, should you stream your lectures, and which one's better for your grades, because that's what you really want to know. Um, so the answer is that it really depends, but I'm going to show you kind of a step-by-step -step way of deciding whether it's for you or not, and then I'm going to show you what I do and kind of how I make that work for me and expedite the process. So uh, just kind of reveal it, you know, spoiler alert, I am a streamer. I don't think you're surprised at all. If you know me well, then you know that I like to be as efficient as possible, get my work done as fast as I can while being the most productive. But let me tell you kind of how you can decide and I'll tell you why I'm a streamer. So going to class is very uh, helpful for people that just kind of one, need a structure. So you like to have something to go to at nine o'clock in the morning and stay till, you know, 12 or whatever time your class ends. It's also nice for people that enjoy that social, um, you know, community that includes people that go to class. You go to class and you see all your classmates, you enjoy that. Those In those situations, class is probably going to be better for you because sitting at home or sitting in a cubicle in a library may not be the most beneficial. It's probably not the most healthiest too. Um, so those are situations where class really works. Plus, if you're somebody that really has questions and your school uh, nicely designs uh, your curriculum to where you can ask questions, maybe you don't have a big class and it's uh, uh, it's a very, you know, uh, hands-on experience where you're able to uh, interact with the professors much more closely, then class would probably be much more advantageous. Um, if you're in a school like I am, where there's like 240 people, which is pretty big for a med school, uh, you're in a big lecture hall and there's a new lecture every single hour, um, that opportunity to interact with them may not be there. So in those cases, you know, maybe you should consider streaming. Other reasons you should be considered streaming is if you are like me, spoiler alert, not an auditory learner. So I am a streamer because I do not learn when people just talk for an extensive amount of time. So which is why I'm gonna make this video as quick as possible for all of you non-auditory learners. Um, but also I like efficiency, you know, another spoiler alert. So I try to structure my studying and take out the stuff that doesn't work. So for me, listening to a lecture for an hour, I don't retain 60 minutes of it. I don't even retain 30 minutes of it. And so I try to expedite the listening part of the lecture as fast as possible using some apps that I'll link down below uh, or Chrome extensions, which kind of speed up my videos and I can watch them at two to three X. And uh, you may be saying, whoa, that's just really fast. I don't know why, how you do that. Uh, I'll link in an article down below, a blog post that's pretty popular on the website that most people enjoy. And I'll talk about kind of how I did it, uh, but I don't want to make that the point of this video. I can make that in a, another video in the future. But speed listening is something that's really helped me um, use the study techniques that work for me, which is not listening to lecture. It's like doing flash charts and practice questions and spending more time on them, which is why if you're like me and you like to use those techniques or another technique that's not going to class, then streaming lecture and watching it a little bit faster should be great for you because you're going to need to move my hand, count my hands down. All right. You're going to be able to control kind of how much you spend of your time. Going to class and sitting there for three hours, three hours are gone. So you hope that you retain maybe an hour and a half of it. I like to watch my lectures, you know, within an hour and a half. And so not only do I have an extra hour and a half to, you know, do something, but I can quickly decide if I'm listening to uh, a stream and realize that the lecture is like crap. Um, and those are situations where I just go, you know, turn it off and then use my resources to understand the material. But if the lecture is really good, I need, I know to be more attentive. And uh, going to class may not give you the benefit of that. You kind of sit and you just hope and cross your fingers that they're all good. And so that's kind of how I decide whether between streaming and uh, going to class. And that's how I recommend a lot of my students um, that I mentor of what they should be doing. But you can obviously mix the two. And I've done this before. I mean, I've, I've spent the majority of my time streaming lectures, but there are times where I know that the, the material is going to be very practical. It's gonna take a lot of kind of hands-on experience. Like EKG reading is a great one. You want somebody to kind of hold your hand and teach you EKG uh, reading. And it's hard to do when you're watching a stream, especially if somebody's using like pointers uh, on the PowerPoint or something. So being there in person, uh, being able to uh, do like different practice questions with the professor as they're going over, those are great things where you can uh, go to class, practice with your classmates, kind of see what each, uh, each of you think. Uh, those are situations where class is great. Other reasons, if you have a, prof you know, a phenomenal professor that's about to teach you, go to class. 
um, you're only going to get so many experiences, especially after medical school. You're going to have lectures, but they're going to be like sporadic and you're going to be worried about your patients and residency and fellowship and when you're in actual attending, not the lecture so much. And so take the advantage where you actually have just time dedicated for you to learn and take as much in as you can. Um, but if you know the lecture is not so great or you know that the, the material is um, something that you can probably pick up really quickly or it's going to require a lot of repetition on your part. Maybe you're learning a lot of pharmaceuticals and so you know that that's going to just be repetition after repetition after repetition. Um, then those situations, streaming is fine. And so I recommend first pick primarily based off of your study style. If you're an auditory learner, uh, spend majority of your time in class. If you like structure, spend a majority of your time in class. And if you are um, somebody like me who likes to be very tactical and learn through trial and error, and spend a majority of your time streaming. And then in those situations where you know the lecture is not going to be good, spend your time streaming. Or if you know the lecture is going to be great or if it's going to involve a lot of hands-on learning, then go to class. And just design your study regimen that way and then adjust accordingly. But again, hopefully that was helpful. I'm not going to make this video very long. If you have any more questions about streaming uh, or going to class, you know, comment below. But I will link that the article that I talked about on speed listing. I really liked it. Um, I mean, I wrote it. So uh, hopefully you like it too. If you do enjoy it and you want a video example of kind of how I do it, just let me know in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel, please. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, my friends.